new blue access cards, red access cards are back, and a huge new Easter egg in Stadium. What's going on, guys? My name is Mr. Dalek JD. I'm very excited because with a new season brings brand new Easter eggs, and boy, do we have a lot to go through. We're going to be breaking down and explaining every new Easter egg in Season 5, so it is imperative you watch this video all the way through to the end so you don't miss out on anything. But also, 66% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, so please do hit that subscribe button for more Warzone Easter eggs delivered straight to your sub box. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be super appreciated as well. You won't regret it, I promise. So what's happening with the access cards in the game? Well, the red access cards from previous seasons to open bunkers around the map have returned. And you can find this around the map in any colored crate. Before, it was only the legendary crates, but now you can find these in common crates as well. And when you pick these up, you'll notice next to your name and your health, you will see a new user interface icon that shows you are holding a card of a red color with a key icon on it. It was never obvious before, but now it is very, very clear. And this will open bunkers 0, 4, 5, 6, and 9. So in this particular gameplay, I went ahead to the one by prison and all the bunkers now have no numbers on them. So it's a little confusing trying to explain which one this is. But as you can see, the bunker opens with that key card and there is a ton of loot inside. Now, the huge new difference to all these bunkers is there is a secondary keypad that you can enter an access code on and it brings up an on-screen keypad where you can actually type in an eight-digit code. Now, no matter what number you press, it currently doesn't let you input any numbers. In the previous season, only Bunker 11 had a second keypad like this, but now all the other bunkers have one. Now, since every number on the keypad does not work, I don't think we can actually get through the second door yet. But over the next few weeks, as the season evolves and progresses, we might get patches that change that. But that is only one slice of the season five Easter egg cake. A stadium is the new Bunker 11 in this season as it houses its very own Easter egg with multiple layers and brand new key cards. So to explain this stadium Easter egg, there are three secret rooms inside of the stadium that require a special key card for you to unlock it. And this is what they look like. This one is on the lower floor, the second floor of the parking lot in stadium. This one is on the top of stadium in an area called the executive lounge. You can see from the overall map, it's about there on the stadium. And the last one is situated on the ground floor of stadium in an area called the Concord Lounge, which is also known as the bar area. Each of these require a key card to unlock. Now, the key cards for each of these rooms can be found in the associated areas that these rooms are in in the stadium. So in this gameplay, I find a key card lying on the ground upstairs in this corner. And as you can see, the item is called EL21. Rather than it be called a blue access card or a red access card, it's called EL21. And what this means is it's codenamed for the room that it links to. So EL stands for executive lounge, which means that this key card goes to the executive lounge room, which is upstairs in this area that I'm in. So I find the room, use the key card on the reader, and it opens. And inside, you're going to find some legendary loot, which is always very, very useful. And in the room, you're going to find a computer, which you can press your interact button on, and it's going to start a sequence where it's going to flash a random order of numbers and weird symbols. And this is the Easter egg puzzle in question. The numbers and symbols that it shows you will randomize every game you play. But in total, the code that the computer gives you is eight digits long. And then you get a message in Russian, which says reset code. Now, if you're not a long time player of Call of Duty and specifically zombies, you won't recognize the symbols being flashed on screen. But funnily enough, these symbols were used in a Infinite Warfare Zombies map Easter egg, and it's a full alphabet of symbols which relate to English letters. On your screen now is a diagram created for that Zombies map and that particular Easter egg step where you can see every symbol translated to an English letter. But in this Warzone Easter egg, it only ever shows you three of the symbols from here. M, N, and then one of the symbols with a question mark next to it, which I believe is Z. Now, like I said, there are multiple key cards and this isn't the only one in Stadium. Another one you can find is a P216 key card. And I found this randomly lying as floor loot near the parking lot of the Stadium. You can see once you've picked it up, it gets added to your heads up display as a blue key card and it specifically tells you the code name that it is. So this one is P216, which means parking level two, which is where I showed you a 
moment ago. I use the key card and boom, it opens up this secret room where we have multiple crates and again, another computer. And the last key card you can find is CL19, which opens up the secret room concourse level, which is the main floor of stadium, which some people also call the bar. I could not find this in any of the games I played, but take my word for it, it is there. And again, can be found as random floor loot. Now, the whole purpose of this Easter egg is you get a code from this computer. And then if you go up to the top of the stadium to the executive lounge again, there is another room which is locked off and requires you to type in a code in order to unlock. And just like the second keypad in the bunkers, you can press any number and it will not accept it. So clearly we're missing something here. Now, since the code you need to put in is a eight digit numbered code and we have numbers and symbols, I'd assume you use the symbols as phone words. You know how sometimes on a really old telephone keypad, the digits also have letters assigned to it? Like the number two is A, B, and C. Well, I thought if it flashed an M or an N symbol, that meant six. And if it flashes the Z, it meant nine. And it very well could mean that. But since there are three key cards that go to three computers in the stadium, each computer gives you some numbers and then other symbols. And I think the symbols are actually trying to throw us off. And really what it's doing is the computer is showing us the code we need for the top of stadium, but then it's missing out some numbers. So once you found a computer and gotten part of the code, you then need to go to another computer to get the remaining missing numbers. Essentially, if I go to the executive lounge and I find out four of the numbers, but there's four missing, I activate the two other computers in the stadium and the code from the computer should include the numbers I'm missing from the first computer code that switched out numbers for symbols. Once you've activated all three computers, finding all three key cards and working out the code with the full eight digits, then the huge secret room in stadium will allow you to enter a code open and complete the Easter egg. And from geeky pastimes over on Twitter, who has looked through the files of the game, apparently completing this Easter egg, fireworks are going to go off over the stadium. And I'm willing to believe this since in the intro cutscene, new character literally says, How about some fireworks? So in conclusion, I think the only way this Easter egg will be possible is if a team somehow manages to find all three key cards and use them before any other team comes across them because there's so many variables. They spawn in random locations. There's no telling if someone's picked one up yet. And it's very easy for someone to pick one up and leave the stadium without even realizing. But the moment that new stuff is solved about this Easter egg, it will be here on the channel. Now, lastly, I know you're thinking what's gone on with Bunker 11. Well, I thought that might be tied to this stadium Easter egg as well. So I've got footage of me going inside Bunker 11 in season five. And sadly, there is no difference. They haven't changed a single thing in this bunker compared to the previous season. Everything's still there. The miniguns there, the weapon blueprint, the red shiny button for the nuke and the second keypad, which again, if you press any buttons on that, it just denies. I even tried using a red access card on the new Bunker 10, which houses that massive rocket nuke. And just like last season, the keypad is busted. So you can't even interact with the door to open it. And I tried it with a red key card as well. Now there is one final Easter egg and that is one of the entrances into stadium under the front bridge contains a lovely little teddy bear just lying there. But that's going to round it up guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on so you do not miss out on the updates to this stadium Easter egg. You can catch my last video on screen right now. Some incredible Black Ops Cold War reveal news from Activision and I'll catch you next time.